The royal family has some pretty weird eating habits. Do you like an occasional banana snack? Well, if you're a royal, even that simple thing requires a very special and elegant approach. Her Majesty uses a fork and knife to eat bananas because to do it with her hands is too low for the royals. But meals at the palace are not always feasts and each royal has their own guilty pleasure foods. William and Harry have a taste for fast food which is quite atypical for English aristocrats. It may have come from their mom, Diana, who often took them to McDonald's as kids. Lady Di herself was on a very strict diet and ate only fat-free versions of dishes. What unusual eating habits does the Queen have? There is always plenty of food on the royal table, but the Queen is very thoughtful of every crumb. She's totally against wasting any leftovers. The kitchen staff must reuse any uneaten servings for other meals rather than throwing them out. She once even sent back a lemon garnish, insisting it could be used as more than decoration. Is there something the Queen would never eat? Although Her Majesty is not picky about food, there are things that never appear on her menu. Garlic and onions are totally off the table, since the Queen has many personal meetings, and bad breath is not appropriate for that. Being late is also unacceptable for the royal, but Her Majesty often breaks this rule when it comes to dinner with her family. Sometimes they even have to lie to the Queen to get her to show up for dinner on time. They trick her, saying it will be served at 8.15 p.m., when dinner actually starts 15 minutes later. What are the rules for dinner with the Queen? Firstly, everyone needs to prepare for it. There is a strict dress code for a regular dinner. And everyone must dress up for the occasion. When it comes to approaching the table, everyone must follow the lead of the Queen. No one should sit until the Queen sits. And also, the first bite can be taken only after the Queen has started to eat her meal. The dining etiquette is taken very seriously. Royals must hold knives in their right hand and forks in their left, with the tines facing down. Are there any specific rules for drinking? The most important thing is not to slurp. Royals should hold their cups of tea correctly, using the thumb and index finger to hold the handle, while the middle finger supports the bottom. The protocol is different for coffee drinkers. They should loop the index finger through the handle. What happens if someone breaks these rules? A former royal butler told a hilarious story about an unnamed prince who did this. Dessert was served. The prince forgot to watch what the queen did. Instead, he popped the grapes into his finger bowl, then some cherries. Then, when the cream and sugar came out, he poured them in too, making a kind of fruit soup. He was about to raise the bowl to his lips to drink it, when he looked at the queen and realized he had made a terrible mistake. Not wanting to make him feel awkward, she picked up her finger bell and took a sip. What would you do if you were in that prince's place? 
And could you follow all the rules at a royal dinner? <laughs>